שלום, good evening. Uh, with God's help, this will be a new introduction about what we try to achieve. Uh, one week ago, I met one of the biggest uh, rabbi, Rav uh, Amos Uri Sharki, one of the biggest rabbi here in, uh, in, uh, in Israel. And he tried to, su- to surprise me with his first question. So he asked me, so what do you think, Jesus is a Mashiach? So I answer him, uh, Jesus is Mashiach ben Yosef in the other side. What is the opinion of the same thing said Rabbi Shimshon Mostropoli and the same thing said Rabbi Moshe David Mivali. Alright, so I'm not the only one that with this opinion, so I can I can say it. And it's why uh, we have to do an act of Pidiona Ben like an act of redemption, like somebody is in prison, we have to redeem him, to bring him back to Am Israel. First of all, generally with the biggest rabbi of Am Israel, my rabbi. Second... Just because he's Jewish? Because he, was, because he was giving away to the priest, it means he's not belong anymore, he's cherem. Everything that we give, we sell. To the priest, it's not belong anymore to Amisrael, it belongs to God, to the nation. It becomes a taboo. Right, so now it's not anymore in the end of Amisrael. Hands. So we have to redeem him. So we talk about the act of uh, redeem. Redemption. Redemption uh, with the biggest rabbi of Amisrael. And after we will do this with the biggest rabbi of Am Israel, after a time of preparation and agreement between him, he and me, we organize a retrial as a TV show in front of... TV debate. Yes. Uh, with 10 rabbi, 10 big rabbi. And after this, only after the retrial, uh, we will ask personally of each one of Amisrael to, to do an act of, like Pidion Aben, redemption of the firstborn. By the way, the ceremony of Pidion Aben, redemption of the firstborn, call in the Talmud. Uh, named. This ceremony called Yeshua Aben, Yeshua the Son. It's very interesting name for it means every time when when somebody redeem his firstborn uh, with the priest it's like he in, in a small way it's like he redeem the the general first first right of all of Israel what have to do with the Mashiach okay so this why we have to do the act of Pidyon Aben because right now Jesus is forbidden in, in Hebrew forbidden Asur is the same word to prisoner is prisoner in Hebrew another word to be prisoner is Chavush Chavush somebody that is in prison so in the moment somebody is in prison, he has to be liber with, with money. It's not, it's not like a, a geula. Geula is another word for redemption. Geula is not cost money. For my heart feel what you have to feel, this don't cost money. But if somebody is in prison and, and he has to be liber, he has to he liberated to, to, to pass from one state to another state, this cost 
money. All right? Have you she calling the media yes to Jesus? By the way, around at 60. All right. It's a fruit called Chabuz that in Rosh Hashanah, uh, many Jewish eat this fruit in Rosh Hashanah. Yeah. We like to do sign in, in the beginning of the year, all kind of signs. So we eat special food. Symbols. Symbol. We eat special thing and we do a kind of blessing, all right? So in our family, when we eat the chavush, we say, we ask that God will liberate all the holy prisoners, all the Asirei Zion. Especially uh, Jesus, Yeshu, that equal Chavush. So, uh, right, so he's in prison. He was Jewish, so he has to come back to the of Jewish establishment. Of course. Okay, so this is the general idea. And uh, my rabbi uh, say in front of all his disciples. Recently. Recently. Uh, in the beginning of this year, in a, it's about 10 months ago, nine months ago, he says that one of my disciples want to do a pidyon a ben, a redemption of the firstborn to Asaph, Asaph, and to somebody else. He didn't pronounce the name Jesus, he just somebody else, but Everybody knew what he talked about. And after he said it would be a good thing to do an act of Pidyon Aben, we have to, to, to do Pidyon Aben, we have to redeem David Malka Meshicha, we have to redeem David King of Mashiach. Which is uh, the and second, it, second coming. And of, uh, so it will be a good thing to do. Uh, a redemption of of a seven other soul right yeah, so you said smart. this right so this we have it in the video like we we, we publish all right so uh, at least my rabbi want to do it so I try to get a, a spiritual help from another rabbi, it's why I, I met the, the rabbi Sharki, so my rabbi don't feel alone about this because he's kind of uh, say yes after no, after yes after no, all right, so he, he receives cold, cold uh, feet every time. It's a delicate issue, anyway. Yes, yeah, so, all right, this by the way, all right, so. I work, I work on this with other rabbi too. He asked me, my rabbi, Rav Yitzchak Ginsburg, he asked me to get the money long time ago, many years ago, for the act of redemption, for this ceremony of Yeshua the son. He asked me to get the, the money. All right, so we have to get the money. I can get the money, it's a sign that I am ready. People, I can explain to people what have to be done. People, the world is ready as well. If I cannot get the money to, to do such an important thing, it means I'm not capable to talk to the people in a way that people listen to me. Convince them. All right, so this is, by the way, it's why he asked me to get the money, not he get it by himself. Even in the ceremony, he have to pay me the money. I am the priest. Kohen. I am a Kohen, so he have to, to pay me the money. Pers as a personal present, he have to give me the money to do the act of Pidyon Aben. We talk about $2 million. Uh, all right, so this is... Uh, the first thing that have to be done, the first move to, to remove the sin of selling of yourself, this is the first thing that have to be done, this act of Pidyon Aben. 
It's the, like the the can, of Yosef is selling of Yeshua. It's exactly. Similar, yes. Uh, yeah, All right. So apparent mistake. So. The beginning of all the second coming of Mashiach must to, to start with this act of remove the sin. The first step, first stage. First stage. Pidio Tzion ben Mishpati Pade Veshavea Bitzdaka Tzion, what he called Yosef in Gimetia, Tzion, the name of Jerusalem, will be redeemed with a process the retrial that we want to That's do, trial. and the Shavah, the ones that come back to Zion, it means the ones that do the repent with charity. Zion b'mishpati pade v'shavah b'tzedakah. Where is this written, Ariel? Do you remember? In the book of Yeshayahu. Zion b'mishpati. Isaiah, in, in English. Pade. Do you remember Isaiah which number? No. It's Daka. Ben Mishpat with a tri with a tri with a retrial. Bits Daka with charity equal Jesus Jesus. Two times this number. Alright, by the way. Okay, so this was a general introduction about about uh, these ceremonies that have to be to happen. One of the other things that we have to prove when we try to bring back Jesus to Am Israel is that it is not any uh, stira, any contradiction. contradiction between what the biggest rabbi of today said about the redemption and between what Jesus said by himself. All right, so this generally has to do with what Jesus said about the second coming, that it will be like the fig tree. When the fig tree will be ready, it's a sign that the, the kites, the, the, the summer is closed, Kites in Hebrew, it's like cats, what it means, the end of the day. Kites is a symbol of the end of the day. So the fig tree has to be ready. The fig tree in the Jewish tradition represents the tree of knowledge, good and evil. What it means represents the Torah. That, of course, has to be connected to the tree of life, to the inner part of the Torah, Kabbalah and Hasidut. If not, it doesn't matter if, if uh, we talk about a fig tree or a, 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 any other tree. It don't mean anything. Or part of the oral Torah, what you say. It is a revealed side of the Torah. Don't do this, do this. And it is the inner meaning, the life. Inner. inner. The life of the, what is behind the knowledge. Life. The soul, it's like a soul, right? What is the deep meaning? The intention from the heart. Right, okay, so everything Jesus said have a lot of meaning behind, but if we just uh, read it literally, it means that it's not Torah there, it's, it seems that it's nothing there. This is the way you look, all right? So it's very important uh, to have Torah vessel for the light of Christianity. If not, Jesus is like a naked true. Another word that equal 316 is Arum. What does it mean naked? Adam and Eve, before they eat the fig tree, the tree of knowledge, good and evil, they was naked. They were naked. They was naked. All right, so Jesus is like Emmanuel, before he, before he get to the knowledge lives of the difference between good and evil, before he eat butter and honey, the way Yeshayahu call the two of knowledge good and evil, 
So Emmanuel, before he will get to the knowledge, all the land will be left. This was the first coming. The second coming is the Torah of knowledge, good and evil. The Torah is ready. The Torah is ready, it means even Jesus curse the fig tree, the curse become a blessing. In the moment the Torah, the revealed part of the Torah is connected to the inner part of the Torah, all the curse become blessing. Even the curse of Jesus himself, Yimar Shmo, his name will be erased. He cursed himself. He's all the secret of Mashiach hiding in this curse. It's all blessing. Yimar Shmo, his name will be erased. All right, we have here the letter of Mashiach. Even when we curse him, we mention that he is Mashiach. All the book is based on the word Chen, what is the secret of the Ark of Noach. Noach and Chen is the same letter. Why Yimach equal Chen? All right, so this is the Ark of Noach. After he says, he says that the second coming will be like the day of Noach too. The rapture, he talk about this is just people who start to learn Torah, so it's like they, they disappear, they are not here anymore. You were 33 years at this book, right? Okay, so, yeah, all right. So, uh, if we want to prove that when Jesus talk about the fig tree, he talk about the tree of knowledge, good and evil, we can learn this from Nathanael. Is the sixth disciple that when he is going to meet him, he will say, This guy is a real son of Israel that don't know what is a lie, he is a person of truth. So Nathanael asked Jesus, How you know me? So Jesus said, I know you of before when you was under the fig tree. Now, who was under the fig tree? under the tree of knowledge, good and evil, the snake. Still, I know your soul from the time it was under, it was part of the soul of the snake. Still, you are not a liar. Now, how we know that really Nathan El represents the tribe of Dan, that called snake? How we know? There are two orders of the tribe, the order of birth, and the order of flag, the way they used to walk in the desert. Let's go to the order of birth. Netanel put it sixth after Shimon, Shimon Kepha. So we start with Shimon. Shimon Kepha parallel to Shimon, the second son of, of Yaakov. In the order of birth after Shimon, we have Levi, after Yehuda, Yisachar, Zvulun, Dan. Dan is the sixth one. Now we go to the order of flag. Shimon now is the fifth one. After Shimon is God, after Ephraim, after Menashe, after Benjamin, after Dan. In the two order, Netanel is the sixth one, is the tribe of Dan, is a snake. Still, you are not a liar. Right? So we have a proof that when Jesus said the fig tree, he talk about the two of knowledge, good and evil. It means Jesus said that Mashiach will come when the Torah of Mashiach will be ready. We will have vessel of Torah to understand what is the Trinity, what is the body and blood of Mashiach, what is the cross, and what is the secret of the repent of of the of the sin with the blood of Jesus. This is the four point of Christianity. The virgin birth is part of the concept of the Trinity. Right? And this by the way, this four point parallel to the four uh, species of Sukkot that we hold in Sukkot, we just going out from the holy of Sukkot. We have the Adas that have free leaf, free leaf, free leaf represent the Trinity. We have the two Aravot that represent the two force that represent what Jesus calls the body and the blood of Mashiach. We have the yellow fruit, the etrog, that represent the cross. And we have the lulav, like it, it looks like a, a sword. 
you will live on your sword, it means you want to you want to be redeemed with the blood of Jesus, you have to give your life. It means you have to give charity because in Hebrew money is blood. You give charity, it's like you give your life, it's like you are like Jesus, so it's make you redeem Jesus inside of you. Right? It's an act of Pidyon Aben. It's exactly, it's exactly the concept of Pidyon Aben. The rabbi give money, so he redeem the soul of Jesus in himself. Because it's like, to give money, it's like to give my blood, it's like to give my life. All right, so this is, by the way, we, we, we just finished, we just went out of the holiday of Sukkot, so uh, I wish everybody a continuation of uh, a very good year, and hopefully in this year we, we move with this act of Pidona Ben, and we move forward to all our plan to bring to to help to to prepare the second coming of Mashiach with God help. And the uh, sec uh, mishpat choser the ritual. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything has to be done. Yeah. After that. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, so first so coming is Mashiach bin Yosef. Second is Mashiach. You can call it this way too. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.